So, guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to run PHP on a Mac. Before I created this tutorial, I already installed XAMPP and Visual Studio Code on my system. If you need to do that, you can look it up in my previous tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to create a simple PHP file and run it on localhost. So let's go ahead and get started then. Here I have my VS Code editor and I'm going to go into my finder. I'm going to navigate to applications, find your XAMPP folder and go to your terminal. Now drag and drop your htdocs into terminal. This will give you the address of the folder where XAMPP stores its htdocs folder. Now I'm going to add the cd command at the beginning of that and change directory to htdocs in the terminal. I'm going to run the ls command to check the contents of htdocs directory. Next, we're going to create a new directory for our PHP project. So I'm going to go ahead and use the mkdir Linux command. I'm going to type mkdir followed by the folder name I want to create, which is simple. Use the cd command to enter that folder and use the touch command to create a new index.php file. Now the touch command in Linux will create an empty file. So I used ls command just to make sure that the file has been created. Now close your terminal and open your VS Code editor. Go to file and open folder. We're going to locate that folder we just created with our index.php file. It's in applications, locate the XAMPP folder, go to htdocs, then go to simple and click on the open button. When you open a new folder, VS Code creates a new project in that folder. Here, I'm going to create a simple PHP script to print out a message. So here, I'm going to say print hello from PHP. Make sure to close the PHP tag at the bottom, although in most recent PHP versions, you don't have to do that. Now, go ahead and open your favorite browser, Chrome in my case. So I'm going to start a new window. And this PHP file is already running on localhost in XAMPP. So go ahead and type localhost slash simple. Hit enter and you will see that we are running our PHP file directly in localhost in our browser on Mac OS X. You can edit this PHP code um, and let's supply a new message. And as you can see, we're successfully running our PHP application on localhost.